In this tutorial, we'll see how to change the configuration using HTTP put method. And first to get the API details, we'll go to the Yang suit and here I'll change host name. Click on host name and generate API. This will generate APIs for host name. and click on show api and here we can see multiple methods patch put and put get and delete so in this example we'll see how to do put method and this is the payload we need to pass to the api endpoint and if I click on try it out and I'll change the host name here the current host name is new CSR I'll give CSR 17.3 and click on execute and we can see the api details since this is a put method this is even adding content type and this is the data and accept method is yang data json and let us verify the device host name this has changed to new name and we'll test same from postman i'll duplicate this i'll change the url and here method is going to be put authorization is same in headers we need to give additional data content type application slash yang data json and i'll copy this data and here I need to go to body and click on row. I'll paste it and here I'll give new. And now it is CSR 17.3 and let us try running from postman. So here also I'm getting 204. and hostname has changed now we'll see how to trigger it from python and in case of python first we'll see how to send it from a dictionary then we'll see how to send it as a multi-line string then we'll try to add this into a text file a json file and read from that then we'll take input from the user for this create a dictionary and pass this to api we'll see all these details from python i will open pycharm and so here the request is going to be put and we need to add the payload So instead of using json dumps first i'll create this as a normal dictionary from dictionary 
and I will call this host dictionary. We'll see multiple combinations here and I'll paste the content. I'll select all these three lines and press Control Shift J and this will add everything into a single line and now payload equal to json dot dumps and then we'll pass host dictionary and earlier we were not passing the payload Now we'll pass the payload as well. Syntax is data equal to payload. And this time I'll add new one and we need to change the URL. I'll copy this put it here and now we are passing the data from dictionary and here inside headers we need to give even content type so here content type is application slash json data i'll copy this and let us try running this so in text we are not getting anything so we can give status code and let us try running so here also we are getting 204 and we will verify the device config so now this has changed to new one so now we have seen how to pass the configuration from a dictionary and here we were using dumps so earlier we have seen dumps will convert json to a normal string and now we'll try to pass this from a multi-line string i'll comment this sent from multi-line string so here we can create a payload copy the dictionary either you can create and put it in this format or you can put it as single line and I'll remove one from here Now also I'm getting 204 and now one is removed from host name and next we'll see how to read it from a file copy this create a new file here host dot json I'll add the content here and now instead of this from file we'll do with open and 
file name is host.json as host and payload is equal to host.read because while reading we are going to read it as a normal string and we'll try to change this to CSR 17.3 and let us try running this so now also I'm getting 204 so now this has changed to CSR 17.3 and we have seen three scenarios one is sending from a dictionary that time we were using json.dumps and sending as a plain string in that time we were just directly sending as a string and from the file now we'll see one more example where we'll take it as a user input and host input input and enter host name and we can copy paste same logic here we'll create a dictionary and then we'll convert that into a string and pass to API and here I'll give host input so I'll run this I'll give CSR hyphen new so previously it was CSR 17.3 and I'll press enter so I'm getting 204 and here also you can see this has changed so in this way you can send data using multiple methods to the API endpoint.